are pineapples apples that grow on pine? How big is Bigfoot's foot? Grandpa, and today I'm filling in for my friend, Professor Wonders, while she is on vacation. So, uh, yes, um, I have no idea what we should do. What's that? You want to play a game? Huh? Well, back in my day, we used to play a game called Hide and Go Seek. Oh, you know that game? Great Galloping Goggles! Let's go play it! I'll go first. Ready? Fine. Great Funkus Boss Latte! You found me! Hmm, can you find me now? My Uncle Earl Beer, you found me. Hmm, you think you can find me here? By the warts on my toes, you found me. Good job. That was so fun. Now it's your turn. You have 10 seconds to hide. Ready? 10, 9, 8, hurry up and hide. 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. That was a fantastic hiding spot. Today, we get to hear a story about a high stakes game of hide and seek. I cannot wait for it. See you later. Oh wait, hold up, I forgot. First, stand up, sing and dance to worship God. Then we'll hear our memory verse from Tolu. Then we'll hear our Bible story about hide and seek. Bye.
Hey friend, I'm Tolu. Let's say the memory verse. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Great job. This time let's say it like... Like a pirate! Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 R. Great job. See you next time. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder And in this basket, I have something super. Do you want to see what's inside? Okay, first we have super gloves. You think that's cool? I also have a super mask and super boots. But you look at that. You know, I'm only missing one thing. Do you know what that is? My super cape. Wow! Look at my costume! What color is it? That's right! It's red! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe! Who? Who? I see a red costume on you! Hi, Ollie! This is my super red costume. What do you think? Super red costumes are fun! It's true! I have a story about someone super powerful for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oh, has got a Bible story for me and you. I'm just not sure which one will work best. Oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. My niece's tire swing broke, and I'm trying to figure out what to use to hang the tire. It needs to be really strong. Which one do you think I should use? This fabric? This yarn? Or this rope? I think you're right. This red rope will work the best. Say, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is about a city called Jericho. Oh. <laughs> and this man, Joshua. Joshua was the leader of God's army. Joshua sent two spies to explore the city of Jericho. Inside the city lived a woman named Rahab. Rahab heard how powerful God is. She believed in the great things God had done, and that made her strong and courageous. Believing how powerful God is made Rahab brave. It made her so brave that Rahab helped the two spies that Joshua sent to the city. Rahab let the spies hide in her house because so many soldiers in the city were looking for them. 
And if the soldiers knew that Rahab was hiding the spies, she would be in big trouble. But Rahab knew that the spies were friends of God, so she wanted to help them anyway. Then, when it was time for the spies to leave, Rahab was brave again and helped them get out of the city safely. As the spies were leaving, they told Rahab to hang a red rope outside her window. And when God's army came to the city, they would make sure Rahab and her family were safe. Later, when Joshua and God's army went to the city of Jericho, they saw the red rope and they remembered Rahab. God's army made sure Rahab and her family were safe. God helped Rahab to be brave and courageous. And God can help you be brave too. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Hmm. So there's your story, and it's all true. We can be brave and courageous because God is powerful. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! Believing that God was powerful helped Rahab be super brave and do courageous things. God can help me be super brave too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! Now whenever I wear my red super costume, I can remember, just like Rahab, I can be brave because God is powerful. I'll see you next time. Bye! Wow! God helped Rahab to be brave and courageous and hide the spies from the bad guys. And you can be brave and courageous because God is powerful and God is always with you. Well, I've done enough wondering for today. Now it's your turn. It's fancy modern gizmo, high tech. Think of a time that you were brave. Talk about that with your family. I will see you next time here in Mac Kids. Goodbye. <laughs>